Here's the setup for today's video, the Whipple Shield test. High pressure compressor is on the left. I'll be firing the 80 grain glass marble. It's the ammo at 400 PSI, which will be right around Mach 1. The cannon is the solenoid valve piloted piston valve cannon, 72 inch caliber 625 barrel. The target can be seen at top center screen, four ceramic plates spaced about an inch and a quarter apart held in a wood frame as a Whipple shield. This is the target for today's video. What I've done is taken four 8 inch by 8 inch quarter inch thick ceramic tiles and I've set them up in a wooden frame spaced about an inch and a quarter apart, four of them as you can see, set up as a Whipple shield. A Whipple shield is used on the International Space Station uh, and on some space satellites as well to protect from micrometeorite impacts. The idea being that the plates are spaced apart so that a particle hitting the plate will disintegrate the plate and the particle, defending the other plates and the spacecraft behind. Well, we're going to hit this little example of a Whipple shield with a Mach 1 80 grain glass marble and see what happens. Whipple shield target 400 PSI, 80 grain, glass marble, caliber 625, 72 inch barrel, and fire! This will be the second shot at a Whipple shield, 400 PSI, 80 grain glass marble again, four ceramic tiles just like last time, inch and a quarter apart. Only difference is the high speed will be shot in 480 frames per second this time rather than a thousand frames per second. PSI and fire. Well, the results are similar to the first shot. The first and second plates were destroyed. This time the third plate got cracked in three rather than two. And the fourth plate has survived both shots undamaged. So the Whipple Shield idea does work. <laughs> 